got the Mekons. Punk rockers. <laughs> Those punks are rude. The Mekons, as a collective, to last as long as they have and still embody the ideals that they started with in 1977, there's no comparison. There's no other band like them. I don't think there's ever been a rock and roll band who's had a run of albums as good as them and are still making possibly their best records. Each one you think like, God, this might be their best record. And how could they do that after you know, 30 years? It's astounding. <laughs> They just clearly could not play. We were a bunch of art students when we formed. We weren't musicians, and it was an art project, basically. It was an experiment. They've always encountered horrendous obstacles to, to, to doing what they wanted to do. It's the curse of the Mekons. If you haven't got a record label and you haven't got any money, kind of that is the end of the story, usually for a band. But we just wouldn't. We wouldn't lay down and be dead. It's very, I've forgotten the words. What is it? That's very unusual. If you feel like the inheritor of a very embattled critical stance while the rest of the world is going over to the dark side, um, they're the band for you. We didn't really split up. We couldn't split up because we were just, we didn't do anything anyway, so. We thought we'd just keep going to be, you know, have our revenge on the world. <laughs>